I am so happy how this turned out. So I moved into a new apartment two months ago. We are renting this apartment and I decided to do lime wash on all the living room walls as well as one wall in the dining area and I am so happy um, how this turned out. I'm so happy how it looks. It was the best decision that I could have made and I did it by myself. It was super easy and very affordable and I want to share with you in this video how I did it from like priming, from the color and the brand that I used, how long it took. There are many great companies that offer a lime wash and you can also DIY lime wash um, but there are a few brands that really dominate in my opinion so I chose Tola Paints because um, I like to support small businesses but they're also local and I am impatient and I was like, instead of having to order samples and swatches, I can just literally go to the shop and look at the colors there and talk to the professionals if I have questions. So that is what I did. I'm going to show you guys some clip of the shop, which is like really, really cute. So that's why I chose Potola Paint Stay Ship. Don't worry, I will have um, their website in the description. And like I said, you can order samples and swatches, which I highly recommend if you have, you know, a little bit more time before you have to finish your project definitely order some of the samples so you are really sure so these are actually all the materials that I ended up buying and needing so two paint brushes the blue one is crap do not buy it at all don't buy it and then we have the paint the lime wash um, I got two but I only ended up needing one pot then I have the uh, lime proof undercoat the primer some tape to tape away the bamboo stick to stir the colors because you do need to stir um, occasionally and then the craft paper to put on the floor so it took me two days because I started in the middle of the day instead in the morning um, and I managed to do the primer and the first coat before I run out of light because I didn't have any lamps or lighting in the empty apartment, I had to wait till the next day so I can actually see what I'm painting. Um, but if you start early in the morning and then you do the, the primer at one hour drying time, the first coat two hour drying time, and then the second one, you can manage to do the same amount of walls, which are three and a half that I did in one day. Two coats are recommended, but you can do three or four depending on the desired effect that you want to achieve. I wanted it to have like a really imperfect feel. That's why I left this white spot that I dropped. You know, I didn't, you know, I'm not changing it because I really love that it gives the wall a really imperfect look. It's always recommended to use a primer, which I did for all the walls besides of one. Because I'm a rebel but yeah I bought the, uh, the primer and it applied white it was somehow harder to apply than the lime wash or maybe it wasn't like that much fun that's why it seemed like harder but yeah it is recommended to use a primer and I will link the primer down below I didn't do it for one wall for the last wall because I was like does it really make a difference and honestly I don't see a difference <laughs> but it is recommended to use a primer from professionals and I'm not a professional, so use the primer for all the walls. Don't listen to me. I'm just telling you I left one wall not primed and I don't see the difference. Super important. I freaked out um, even though I knew it, but then at the same time I freaked out because I'm just someone who freaks out, but it applied 10 times darker. But lime wash always applies 10 times darker and when it dries, it gets brighter. So this is how it looked when I applied it and I was like, oh, please, 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 no. But then when it, when I moved on to the next wall and the other wall was already drying, I was like, okay, we are safe. This is working out, Denise, calm down, relax. This is how it's supposed to be. And it turned out beautifully. So be aware that it will apply really, really dark onto your wall but it will get brighter. So of course I watched some YouTube videos before I started. So I saw like all these amazing videos and then the cloud technique. So I went into the shop to Patola Paints and I'm like, oh, okay, I want this color and okay, we need a primer. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna apply it with the cloud technique. That's what I told the guy who worked then. He's like, 
yeah, no, please don't. <laughs> please don't do it um, because we don't recommend it. We recommend you starting from one side and then moving along to the next side so it can dry, it dry evenly. And then that's how we just recommend it. If you use our products, please don't use the cloud technique. So I'm like, okay. I mean, if this is what you guys recommend, then that's why you're not seeing me doing the cloud technique because this company that I chose the color from, the, um, the line wash from, recommended to not do it that way. But you will see other brands that say for their line wash, you uh, it's best to use the cloud technique. Let's start by addressing my biggest mistake so you don't do it. I did not use enough product on the brush while applying and that's why you see here in the slow motion you know how dry it is and that made those brush strokes so visible so i think recommended is to have at least you know two inches of your brush covered before applying it onto the wall so you don't run into that issue and then to obviously reapply as often as possible so if you run into the same issue that i did don't worry it can be fixed that was the first coat the next day when i came for the second coat i was like oh my god what is going on here and then i did some research and saw okay you used way too less product and then you can you know change it by adding another coat or even another coat depending on the desired effect i still have some brush strokes visible but i don't mind because i'm going for the imperfect look anyways and like you know i still have like a whole pot left of color so if i ever get tired of it i can uh, fix it very easily Easily. so lime wash is painted on with a brush you don't use those paint rollers and you do it irregularly with um, the X strokes so that you can create those you know shades and depth in the lime wash that we are looking for two hour drying period is enough for the patrola lime wash second day and i wanted to show you the first coat after drying and you can see the brush strokes clearly but i love the color and then i promised you the wall without uh the undercoat and it's getting two um coats as well but you can already see just from using one coat how beautiful the lime wash reflects natural light and how many different you know layers and and like it creates it's so beautiful so but yeah i started with the second coat and then i remembered hey i need to film this to show it to you guys but you see the corner and you see that the strokes aren't as visible because i'm using more product so yeah huge mistake but fixable same wall but two coats you see some darker spots so that's an indication that it hasn't dried completely but the brush strokes are not visible anymore and this is the final color and it's pretty so this is how i did it you see it was super easy um and it went super fast this is how it turned out and i hope that the video helped you decide to you know line wash some walls in your home or maybe you, may, you say it's not for you but either Either way i hope that um the video helped you decide one way or another um if you like the video and you want to stick around and support my channel then hit the subscribe button and i see you in the next video